The walls of the gentle heart geriatric home is adorned with paintings that captivate not only those who reside there, but visitors from far and wide. The portraits of nature and religion were done by 46-year-old Christopher Ramroop. But what makes this artist's work extraordinary is the fact that he is a quadriplegic who has made the gentle heart home his place of abode. Before, I was a construction worker, very talented with my hands and him, hard working, like to work, like to sweat. And then, unfortunately, 1994, I was in a motor vehicle accident and I became a quadriplegic. Instantly, my world had changed, started to live in a new body, in a new world. The father of two who has not given up on life and its adversities explained how his journey into the arts began. I took up on painting seriously at 2004. I did the uh, Chariots of Fire and then I started to improve yeah, Chariots of Fire and the world. Yeah. Uh, and this is what I do for the past time, uh, being on the internet, playing games, watching movies listening to the music, but painting is really my number one passion. Before it was sports, but I am an inspirational person with uh, nature, I love nature. So most of my work that I do is more uh, landline, coastline, things to do with nature. Uh, I work with photos too. Undaunted by his disability, Ramroop described to Eyewitness News three of his most favorite pieces. Before I start a paint, I'll take like a, a day to prepare my mind and see different colors in my mind and see what kind of abstract um, figure that I could pull out. Chariots of Fire was, um, I was tested by a old guy from the home. He bought a sketch and it was colorless. It was more like, um, more uh, flat color. No, not much color. So I took it from him. It was a challenge. Colored Bay, is a photo, a good friend of mine's by the name of David Law. He told me that he took a bath right there and he took a picture. And he gave me the picture as a challenge to paint and all too. So that was a challenge and that is what I did with the four by five uh, painting. Uh, Bacolod Bay was under construction and I did that. This painting is another picture of David Law. There is a, is a house in Maraval, Paramen, where they plant sive. Uh, it's no longer livable. And they store uh, chemicals and tools there. Yeah, it took six weeks to do that. Though he has never held any exhibitions, Ramrub stated that he attempted to sell his artworks in the public. However, the issue of mobility hindered him from continuing. His story of painting through the pain serves as an inspiration to many who may be on the brink of giving up. And if that wasn't enough, he also had this message to share. I want to give um, a word to people who are out there who are striving to make ends meet and to make a living and thing. Once you have a passion, a one thing in life to do, whether it be whatever you're skilled in, just concentrate on that one, that one, um, that gift that you have and work towards it. Put your whole heart and soul in it and have a love for it and see where it goes. It, it must uh, carry you somewhere and pray about it. I mean, it's nothing. By your strength, you will really succeed, but with prayer, it's possible. Persons wishing to contact Mr. Christopher Ramroop can do so at 397-9851 or 727-9851. Two eight nine eight. You did it too. Why? Oh, why can't I? I Just Ramdeo for Winner Witness News. Ooh.